welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today, guys, I am so happy today. Now, if you haven't seen my other Popeyes video I did, it was entitled A Food Reviewer's Bad Day. Please go back and watch that so you understand where I'm coming from on this video, okay, guys? <laughs> I got the correct meal this time. Oh, my goodness. I had to go to um, another Popeyes. And I give up on the old Popeyes. I'm not going to that Popeyes anymore. I'm going to start coming here no matter what I do for Popeyes. So I just, I've had some bad experiences with that other Popeyes that I did two days ago. So anyway, I am going to review the eight piece uh, shrimp tackle box combo for you guys and their new strawberry biscuits. I like how they put it in the cup and it's not in something else. So Anyway, I'm going to review it. I'm going to give you my 100% honest rated review on this, guys. It's all honesty. I'm not sponsored. I put out food reviews every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if that all sounds good to you, and like I said, I'm going to rate it first. I'm going to rate it from 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and or somewhere in between. And if that all sounds good to you, I please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free. It's easy. Just show it some love, please. I'm asking for a little support. And if you've already done that, can you please also give me a thumbs up? That's, that's one more added support that I could use for my food reviews. I'd like to keep doing food reviews, and we got to build up our crew. We're building up our Penny Pinchers crew, and I do like to say... You guys, you the, who have who have subscribed, my Penny Pinchers crew, you guys have all been so supportive, and so I, I I can't even say like you've just been so supportive and so great with me, reacting with me, commenting with me, and I I appreciate it immensely immensely. So anyway, let's get on to this review. I had such a letdown the other day. I am I am letting that go. I even wore my my tie dye uh, rainbow shirt that a friend bought me just to to bring my mood up and to get back to business of food reviews, guys. Okay, now I got the shrimp tackle box. I got red beans and rice this time. If you have not tried the red beans and rice. I suggest it, and I'll tell you what it tastes like here in a minute. But I'm going to get into this shrimp. I got the the Creole, Creole, how do you say that? Creole? Creole shrimp cocktail. I got that to dip my shrimp in. So this, I always like to give the prices to. This shrimp tackle box, eight pieces. I think there are more than eight pieces in this box, guys. Two, four, six, eight. I'm seeing like 10 or 12 in here. I got the hookup today. Thank you, Popeyes. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And people always talk about this side of town. I'm not going to tell you where it's at. But people always talk bad about this side of town. But I'm telling you what, this Popeyes has never, ever let me down. Even if I've never looked in the bag, I've always got what I was supposed to get. And I've always got extra stuff. And I feel like I got it today. I am so excited. So, anyway... This shrimp tackle box combo, you get one side, you get a regular biscuit, and you get, you know, your eight pieces of shrimp. Um, they're supposed to be a uh, butterfly shrimp, and uh, you get that for $7.99. Oh, and a drink. You get a drink, too. A soda. For $7.99, I feel like that's a pretty good price, but we'll rate it, and I'll let you know for sure. And the strawberry biscuits, I forget what one of them is. One is like $1.99 or $1.79. I got a two-pack for $2.99, so it's a little cheaper to get a two-pack. The other one's in my bag, but it's in another little container like this. We'll leave that for dessert, okay? We'll rate that, too. Let's try the shrimp, guys. Now, this is what I call healthy shrimp. Please go back and watch my bad, uh, my food reviewer's bad day video. It's like two videos back. Go back and watch it. After you get done watching this one, of course. Or watch that one first, then come back. Do do whatever combination you like. So anyway, let's give this, this shrimp a whirl, guys. Mmm.
if you watch another video and see these little tiny shrimp that I got, you are going to be so disgusted like I was. Go back and watch my face. Just go back and watch it. This shrimp, you can actually taste the shrimp. It's actually got a full piece of shrimp and a tail. I just wanted you to see. I pulled off some breading here. I just wanted you to see that this is actually a full piece of shrimp. It's not over fried. It's not rubbery. I taste the shrimp. What I like about Popeye's breading, it's nice and crispy. It's like that chicken like breading. You know what I mean? It's like it's that crunchy, crispy breading. But it's also got some flavor to it. Like I feel a little warmth in my mouth. Not heat. Not spicy heat. But just a little warmth in my mouth. So you know that they got some um some sort of chili powder or something in in the seasoning. And they got some the uh, salt and pepper. It's flavored. I'm gonna put it in some of this cocktail sauce. Give that a whirl. Mm. It's good with or without the cocktail sauce. Oh my goodness. I am so happy today. This is Wednesday. You'll see the video on Thursday. Let me tell you, this is such a big change from Monday when I filmed that other another episode oh my gosh so I ate two there's two here together so that's four five six seven eight nine ten there's at least ten in here and they're just supposed to be eight they hooked it up thank you for hooking it up Popeyes oh my goodness I had such a bad experience the other day okay I'm going to say this. Other than Long John Silver's, I think Popeye's has the best shrimp. Now, I'm not talking about... Sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. We'll get back into it here. So, other than Long John Silver's, Popeye's has the best shrimp in the fast food game, I think, if you get the right ones. Those little popcorn shrimp, don't get them. Don't get them. Those are gross at Popeye's. I don't care where they make them, I don't think. They'll be rubbery. All it is is breading. You're not tasting shrimp. But these are really good. These are really good, guys. It's actually got the tail on them. I know some people eat the tails. I don't. Those are good. Okay, the shrimp, I'm rating them. Now, I just want to tell you about my rating scale. A five or below is don't buy that, don't waste your money, okay? A ten is it's so amazing. I can't imagine being it. It can't be any better. Um, I can't reproduce this. It's I got to get it every time. That's a ten, okay? Knock your socks off. That's a ten. Now, these aren't a ten, okay? I can't rate fast food shrimp a ten. I can't. I just can't. But these are like, I got to give it an eight, a solid eight. And that's a good score, guys. That means they're worth it. I like them. I would get them if I want shrimp again. I suggest them. If you like shrimp and you've never tried Popeye's uh, butterfly shrimp, get them. Get them. Okay, I got the red beans and rice the other day. I got the fries. I'm tired of fries. I'm not a big fries person. I already know what this red beans and rice tastes like. But I want you, oh, there goes some rice on my, there goes some more rice. I want you to see what it looks like too. It's It's got red beans underneath with rice. I always like to mix it up a little bit here. Get a good bite. Let's give this a good bite. And I got to tell you something. You've seen me eat a lot of things if you've been around for a minute. Beans aren't really my thing. One of my friends got this once and she's like, it's so good, it's so good. And I was like, ah, beans? Red beans and rice, ugh. But let me tell you what I'm tasting. There's Cajun seasoning in this. Got a little bit of warmth. 
the beans and the rice. The rice has some sort of other seasoning in it too. I don't sure, I'm not really sure what they put in this stuff, but it's good. Now, it's not fantastic, but it's, it's different. How many fast food restaurants have you been to and they have red beans and rice, right? And I always want something different usually. So having this choice, I love it. And yes, I'm eating with a spork. I hate eating with plasticware. And this is the all-time hatred right here is a spork. I hate sporks, but it can hold up the red beans and rice. <laughs> okay, those red beans and rice to me, if it's cooked right, if the rice isn't crunchy, it's got the good flavoring in it. It's an eight, too. It's a solid eight. Eight. I'm so happy today. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to take a bite of the regular biscuit just to show it to you guys, too. Here's their regular biscuits. Buttery. Now, sometimes I've had them where they're like a hockey puck, and they're kind of thick and dense. Let's see what this one's talking about. Mm-mm. This one is not thick and dense. This is one's warm, buttery. I really like their biscuits. I really do. I'm not going to fill up on that though. I'll eat that later. What I really want is the dessert one. I got to get one more bite of shrimp though. One more bite of shrimp before I go on to dessert. Mmm. Oh, glorious day. After the other day, oh my goodness. Monday, well, it was Monday for me. Tuesday, you guys saw it. Oh my goodness. That meal was a flop. That meal was a flop. This meal is glorious compared to Monday. Let's get this strawberry biscuit out here. It's one of their biscuits. Supposed to have like strawberry chunks in it. It's got the little glaze on it. Let's give this a whirl, guys. Oh, I gotta get a drink. Got cocktail flavoring in my mouth. I don't want that into my biscuit. Okay. Did you see it? Do you want a first bite? I'll give you the first bite if you really want it. I bet you a bunch of you would take a bite if you could through the camera, wouldn't you? Okay. Here we go. Oh, now these are a limited time. Mmm. Okay, let me explain it to you. Mmm, I'm glad I got two of these. Okay, I thought it was going to have like strawberry chunks. But it's like a really, really good like strawberry preserve, like mixed into the dough. Mm. And this it, this coating on the outside is just like a powdered sugar, powdered sugar icing. But that's sweet with that, and that sweet tart with the strawberry preserve. Oh goodness, wait a minute, one more bite. I will finish that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, I noticed, I noticed, and I just did it again. I noticed it. I know you guys have noticed it. Whenever there's, whenever. I take a bite of something and it shocks me about what I'm thinking, like how to rate it or how to explain it. Sometimes I get a giggle. Uh, I don't try to do that, guys. It just happens, okay? 
I don't know when that ever started. I believe it started when I was a kid, okay? But anyway, that hmm, that hmm, is a happy hmm. And it is also a shocking hmm, okay? So what what is shocking to me is I'm thinking of the score rate, and I'm thinking of fast food dessert. If they kept those on the menu, I would have to get those, that strawberry biscuit, I would have to get those every time I came to Popeye's. Every time. Out of all their desserts I've tried, there's been a couple good ones. They had that blueberry lemon, can't remember what it was, fried pie. It was pretty decent. It wasn't the greatest, but it was pretty decent. I never did try that banana cake thing. I never got a chance to. Every time I tried it, or tried to get it, I couldn't get it. They were sold out. I also tried their um, beignets with the chocolate in them. No, those are pretty decent if you get them nice and fresh with the powdered sugar on them. Those are pretty good too. But I would get the strawberry biscuit over all that stuff. All that stuff. Their fried apple pie. It's nothing compared to the strawberry biscuit thing, guys. So, I can't give it a 10. I can't. But it is a 9.5. This strawberry biscuit is a 9.5 oh my goodness now I don't like the price of them but oh it's limited time so if you want to try this thing go try it I'd get a meal and then try it I wouldn't just go there just for the strawberry biscuit but from my experience with, with Popeyes check your food guys even if it looks like you got the right box even it looks like you got the right things. Peek in it before you drive away. Because they have gotten me so many times. Not this one. This one's been great for me. But the one that is close to my work has gotten me so many times. It looks like everything's in the bag. I don't check in the box. And I don't got the correct item. Or I got something's missing. Or it's just, it's been a horrible experience over there. So just double check your stuff. Everybody's told me, hey, Patty, you should do it everywhere you go. And sometimes you just get busy, guys. You get your receipt. You get your card. You make sure you put your card back in your wallet or purse or whatever. And there's a bunch of people behind you. And you're in a hurry. And you just don't check the bag. A lot of us glance in the bag. Yeah, I got it. Looks like I got it. I got the two sandwiches or whatever. I got the french fries, whatever. But you don't inspect it. And i hate to say it take that two extra seconds and look in especially at popeyes now i don't know if you have some bad experience in other places then i guess do it everywhere if you get in a good habit of it you won't run into what i ran into monday that was horrible but i'm always worried about here's what happens with me right i film before i go to work so i'm on a little bit of a time crunch i get the food I find a parking space away from people so people, you know, aren't making too much noise around me or I'm not freaking anybody out holding food up to the camera, right? Which I don't care. If they think I'm crazy, they think I'm crazy. I don't care. But anyway, I get in a time crunch. So I hurry up and pay. I make sure I get my receipt. And that's another thing. Back in the day, they gave you a receipt for everything. They didn't ask you. They gave it to you. Nowadays, is do you want your receipt? Or they don't even ask at all. So there's times where I don't get the receipt. So, so that's number one in my head. Ask for the receipt. So I can give you guys the correct price that I paid for it. You know, put my card back in my wallet. Make sure I got that. You don't want to be losing your card, right? And then I all will glance in the bag. Always glance in the bag. Just to make sure I got the right amount of items in there. And they look, you know, as wrapped as I'm expecting them to be. And then I pull away. So yeah, I gotta add that extra two seconds and start looking in the thing. The, today I did. I peeked in the little box that was in my bag. And I'm like, yep, those are the shrimp. And I peeked in there. At first I didn't think they gave me my strawberry biscuits. Then I saw they were in these cups. And I was like, yeah, those are in there. My red beans and rice is in there. Oh, uh, glorious day. Glorious day. Oh my gosh. The things that make us happy, right? <laughs> but anyway... I guess I'm going to let you guys go. You saw my great meal. I got some more shrimp here to eat. I definitely got way more rice. I only had like two bites of that. That rice is good. If you've never tried it, please try it. These strawberry biscuits, I can't believe it, but 
I hope they keep them around for a little bit, but they won't. They're a limited time, so they won't be lasting long. And this uh, this butterfly uh, shrimp tackle box is a limited time as well. So if you want to try it, please go out and do fairly soon. I don't know how limited their time is, but it's limited. That's all I know. But I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.